welcome to, can you believe Memorial Day has come and gone and it's the first Tuesday, actually the last Tuesday of May, it's May 31st and I am very happy to be your host for this important Village in Motion show Diane Gatz is having. I have two wonderful guests and I'll introduce you and we'll talk about why they're here. Let me first introduce, and I know probably, well residents know Harry. Right. Harry Andre, who is our senior IT site manager. That's correct. And he's actually working two sites right now. He's yes. working Greenspring and Ashby Ponds. Correct. And not only does Harry do the IT here in Greenspring, but he also helps the residents That's with correct. computer issues, right? Yes, we do. All right. And next to Harry, I know. Almost everyone should know Sherry <laughs> Nidifer because she comes on with me quarterly mm -hmm. when we do our health, fitness, and nutrition segment. Yeah. Sherry is um, the regional director of the Employee Health and Wellness Center, so even though residents can't use Sherry, I'm sure if you had a question for her, she'd be willing to answer anything you have. Maybe. <laughs> I'd, att I'd attempt it. She would attempt it. Um, so about a year or so ago, mm -hmm. Sherry, Greenspring, well it wasn't just Greenspring, it was Erickson Living as mm -hmm. a whole, decided to introduce the Weight Watchers programs to our staff. So can you give us a little background history of why that is so and where we've been from the year till now? Right. So. Um, you know, with employee health, you know, we're, we're always driving, you know, you eat well, you exercise, you know, when we're talking, when we do our quarterly talks, we're always kind of focusing on that piece of it. And weight loss is something that's just always a struggle. You know, it, it is. And as we get older, it's a struggle because, you know, we, we <laughs> like to, we're a little less active than we used to be. But the other thing that seems to be hard is we can really push to have a program. That, that runs for a month or runs for two months. And we can make changes in the cafe and we can make little subtle changes, but making choice is really, really the basis of it. So what we wanted to do corporately, Dr. Craig Thorne, who is really um, is the director of employee health, wanted to create a sustainable weight loss program. So not only do we challenge people to lose the weight and to get healthy, to make better choices, but to be able to sustain that over a longer period of time. So he had been uh, in talks with Weight Watchers for a long time. Um, so finally, January 2015, we got to introduce it to the communities, which is a great opportunity. Um, and they can use their wellness reward if, if they have the benefit. So it really comes out to be almost uh, cost neutral. Um, if the employees go to 30 out of the 52 sessions, they can get their money back. So that's a huge benefit. And the fact that we, we actually have them come on campus. So we have a, a leader that comes on campus and every week we meet together as a team. So Harry will, will talk to us about how important it is to have a, a group of people, because we all fall off the wagon, you know, we all kind of go one way or the other, and then how incremental changes just kind of happen. And it's different for everybody. What, what might work for me in Weight Watchers doesn't work for Harry, but what works for Harry might work for somebody else. And so in that environment where you see you know, we see people every day. I see you not as often as I want to, Diane, but I see you on campus. And I see Harry not as often as I want to. Usually when I have problems, I see Harry. Um, but it's, it's nice to be able to sit there and say, oh, you know what, we do work at the same place. And wow, I am struggling with that. Can I get some help? Um, and I've enjoyed getting to know different recipes, um, bringing in food for the staff, and um, learning how to eat healthier myself. So it's, uh, it's been a game. So in 2015, we lost over 400 pounds as a, as a group, which is great. How big is this group? Well, it, it started out as, I think we had as many as 30 in the group. But you know we have staff that have all sorts of schedules. So getting the exact right time is hard. Um, so we are, we, we go during the lunch break, but that really makes it hard for some staff. So we're hoping to get 12 to 15 that stay in the meeting. 
Um, so that's been pretty successful. And we try to do fun things to get people, you know, to come and, and not feel bad if they fall off the wagon. The key is, you know, okay, so you, you had that soda, which would be me. I had that soda. We won't say what Harry's favorite is. <laughs> and then we just say, okay, you just start again. You know, nobody gets kicked. We just enjoy it. So, and so far this year, we had, um, I'd say 10 new people come and they really helped us. So we're up over in the 180s so far. Of as weight the first loss. quarter of the weight loss. Now, that's not like true weight loss. That's like if you if you gained it, we're not, you yeah. know, subtracting that. So we're just counting. Sure. We're just counting the negatives. Um, so that so that's fun. So I know we could talk more about Weight Watchers, and I'm sure we will. But I really want to jump into Harry's story mm -hmm. because Harry, every time I see you, I go, "Is that the same guy?" <laughs> um, and I mean that in a very loving, enthusiastic True, way. Yeah. And I don't know about a lot of people, but when I see people who look different, sometimes I'm like, well, did they lose weight? Are they gaining weight? Should I say anything? Right. And you're kind of <laughs> like, oh, God, I'm going to get myself into trouble. But Harry, at least, or Sherry, through Sherry, I knew what your success was. So let, let's go back to before you started Weight Watchers, and then let's maybe talk about your journey. Okay. So. Maybe we should tell people right off the bat. Do you mind sharing how much weight you've lost? So, um, so right now I'm up to 67 pounds. 67 pounds of weight in, in like a year. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you've managed to, to keep that off. Yes, because um, with the Weight Watcher for me it has been more like a lifestyle change. You know, um, the support we have in our meeting working with the co-workers, the camaraderie, that helped me to actually motivate me to be able to lose the weight, like um, Sherry explained. It's a, it's a choice you make, it's a lifestyle cha changes, and um, also, you know, you whip the benefits. The only side effect is you gotta keep changing, buying new clothes. <laughs> you mean the, the, the Erickson won't give you new uh, clothing allowance? Maybe right. you should work on that, Sherry. Right, right. So let's talk about first why you decided to make that that decision because a lifestyle change is not something you do lightly. Right. Um, the change for me was kind of easy because ultimately it started out with uh, I have a five year old and. Being able to move around and do things with him, you know, was always a, a challenge in terms of, um, you know, you work here, you get home, you basically want to sit down, you know, ease up the day. But um, that was my motivation, basically, to be able to do stuff with him and not have to be out of breath or, you know, not, not be sedentary, is that the word there? Right, that was my motivation. And um, being able to do that and challenge him, because um, the beginning where it started, it started as, Daddy, let's come and play, let's do this. And I was like, no, I just can't do it right now. I know I can't do it right now. So now I go home motivated, saying, OK, come on, let's do this together. And have that moment. And he's like, OK, Daddy, I'm tired. Now. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> it's time for me to go to sleep or that kind of thing. So that's the reward for me. So, so take us through, so you, you you made the commitment when they announced the program, the company announced right. the program, and you decided. Have you ever tried Weight Watchers before or, or anything? No, nah, to me, Weight Watchers was just um, something you hear on TV, you hear, mm -hmm. you know, you hear other people losing weight and doing something. Me, personally, I, I was, I never believed that I, myself, could lose that weight. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the Weight Watchers program? I mean, you mentioned camaraderie and, and the support, but is there anything in there that you, th you thought really is the key? Yeah, but with Weight Watchers, it teach you um, portion control, making proper choices. Before, before Weight Watchers for me, I, I used to go to a restaurant and eat whatever's on the menu. So it wasn't really me making any selections or me making any decision. It was like, I feel for steak, let's have steak. Hamburgers, let's have that, let's have So just pour it on. But with Weight Watchers, you, you learn to make not only better choices, but also to, you, you feel like you're in control because you have the right tool. I have um, Weight Watchers give you a little app Basically, you could track them. You have to do your tracking, but it also allows you to kind of prepare 
for your, you growing up, being able to have pre-select meal. So this way you can say, okay, I'm having the chicken, but I'm not having the sauce. Let me get some more of the salad. So you're totally in control. And you do that at home too? Yes. Where you, where you in terms of your meal planning? Yes, we had to rip out everything in, in the house, kind of, <laughs> you know, french fries is out, you know, they all, I no longer eat red meat, steaks is out for me. But I know for some other people it might be a little hard, but for me, you know, I have to make those ch those changes. So, so my guess, and I don't mean to, to um, put you on the spot or go into your whole personal mm -hmm. history, so we can do this in general, Sherry, but my guess is if he's cutting out wet red meat, and I'm thinking carbs maybe? Yes. Carbs and, and those ugly fat stuff that we all love and, and things <laughs> like that. I'm thinking his vital statistics is also improving Correct. than in, in your blood pressure, right. cholesterol. The big one to, for me, of course, would be cholesterol. But so all that you did. I mean, and that was an even. So that was kind of a side benefit for you, then. right? Because, um, like I, said, I explained, the focus for me was always trying to be more active, doing things with my kid, my son. At the end of the day, working, being able to go from building to building, and not have the pain and all. So the side effect for me, like you say, is um, I no longer. I used to have sleep apnea. That's gone. Uh, my my my. What do you call it? My numbers have improved greatly. Cholesterol, everything else has been gone. You know, right now I'm still working on it to make sure that probably we've had my um, blood pressure, mm -hmm. which I'm hoping by conti continue doing with what I'm doing right now, would we'll probably get that out. That's what my doctor's saying. They say, let's keep on moving. Let's keep doing this, basically. So did your wife also have to embrace this then, I'm thinking? <laughs> so. <laughs> the whole family, or? Let's see. she joined with Watcher through, through me, because um, from changing what we are eating habits and um, making better choices for the house, we had to weave out, remove certain things that was the temptation, not have it yet. So she. She had. She lose weight also. She lost some weight. I think she lost about ten pounds. Nice. Yeah. So, and so, would you say that it's an easy? Um, I wouldn't say easy. I mean, I'm using that as a relative. I mean, of of all. I mean, if you thought about it a year ago, would you have thought that the path would be as? I'm just going to say easy as it as it sounds. It. I'll be upfront with it. it's not an easy piece of it, but it, the fact that the benefit that you can whip is so great. So if you're ready to eat healthier, um, have more activity, move around a little bit better, so it's, worth, it's just worth it because of the benefits that you could reap of it. I mean, the choices itself is like, of course, I used to have my steak, I can't no longer do my steak, but I'll, if I decide one day to do it, it would be in portions, because I never understood that portion control was the so key can't, to it. You can't have the pound of steak, right. but maybe you can have that little, what is that, that little right. hand, a fourth of right. a pound. Right, but you, if you have the craving, the taste for it, yes, you can, you can do it, so you, you're not, you're not ruling every, every, you know, everything out, but it's just basically you feel empowered to make better choices and when you want to kind of reward yourself, yeah, go ahead and have the steak, but not so much of it, you know, and that's what to me with, with watches that works greatly. In terms of a time period, how long do you think it took you to get to that point where you were like, hmm, I can do this and it's not as bad as I thought or yeah, I don't want the steak. I'm gonna have the chicken. Or with the uh, with the fact that we meet every our meeting, we meet weekly. So uh, the do overs, we have options for do overs. Meaning that when you come walking in, you're like, okay, I don't feel like I did well this week. So you can either select not to wait in, but come to the meeting. And um, to me, it wasn't easy, but um, we start seeing the rewards, basically. And you have your support team, even when you fall back, I'll walk in and I, say, I tell Dr. Sherry, I say, uh, Dr. Sherry, I did not do too well. And she said, don't worry about it. Next week, we could get together again. You'll be proud. And having that motivation kind of helps you in the long run 
to know, okay, these folks here, they, they can't actually care about me. So you had to weigh yourself in front of people, fully dressed. Do you get to take your shoes off? <laughs> you, you try to take every every little bit off. I know. That's why so I'm like, wait, let me take my jacket right. off. Can I take my watch off? I'm definitely taking private, my shoes off. But it's But it's not. I oh, mean, okay. you know, they're, they're, nobody, nobody, everybody actually is very respectful. They turn their back. They right. won't look at the okay. scale. It goes right to the right to the Weight Watcher leader and and it's the same scale each time and so if you weighed yourself the first day with your shoes on you're gonna I mean you I wear the same exact clothes every single Tuesday it's true it, even down to the socks it everything it's well, just I, just to know I, that that's why we get along yeah. <laughs> we think the same. so but why is it so important for Green Spring to care about Weight Watchers or the fact that Harry not only looks great but he's feeling great and he's lost all this weight. I mean like really? Well, I think I think Greenspring like with Erickson they really care about their employees. So it's more of a it's not just a job to me or to Harry it's it's really it's a bigger part of my family. So it matters so when Harry said he did it because he wanted to be able to move around with his son and that was his primary motivation. But what did he get? I'm actually moving around campus without any pain. Correct. So instead of taking the the little shuttle or or his cart, he's right. walking around campus and he doesn't have pain. So the bottom line to why all of us are here is to take better care of the residents. So for Harry to be in the best physical state, which is then going to move him into the best me mental state you know, mental and spiritual state, he's going to be able to deliver that care in the best way that he can, which, which is really what our bottom line is. So, you know, our motivation is to make everybody feel the best that they can and, those, and his idea about control. He feels in control. We True. do have a, another member of the team, to your, to your point about um, numbers, is his heart attack risk was 10% when he started. Six months, now this is not Harry, Six months in, his heart attack risk was 1%. And that happened because of the weight that he had lost. So it's incremental, it's small, maybe two or three pounds each time. But boy, that, if that scale says two pounds less, it's amazing the burst of, wow, it really helps. And I've seen Harry out a couple times when he comes in and he has really worked hard and you know Harry, right. he's on that app. Yeah. I can tell you, he is working <laughs> that application. If anybody can do it, it's Harry. And sometimes it'll, and it won't be as much as he wanted. And you can see it in his face, especially at first. And now I've seen him say, oh, okay, well, I know I'm going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to do exactly. And he'll say what he changed and he couldn't change. So you, do you have um, another goal now in terms of how much more you want to lose? Or are you going to start running, um, you know, half marathons, marathons? <laughs> well, we're not going to quietly get to the marathon <laughs> piece oh, okay. there. OK, OK. But um, yeah, a continuation. I mean, the goal for me, like I said, is feeling activity, feeling good. And um, if I can get rid of, you know, my, my blood pressure medication, basically, to get rid of that, that would be ideal. Like, my, and I have talking with Cherry and talking to my own personal doctor, like it's I feel like I can get to that level ultimately, you know, so excited. Yeah, that's a good thing. And and let's talk a little bit about the mental um, improvement, for lack of a better word. I'm not again sure if improvement is the right but so do you notice when you are dealing with people that you you're feel, in a better yeah, place? You feel, you feel better about you, so it's a overall thing. So if you if you feel healthier, you feel better about, about so the conversation. It's always everybody's noticing. Hey, you know, you know, you lose some weight. What's going on? So you you sort of feel better about you. <laughs> Ultimately, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. Yes, it's a win-win. How about the first time? Tell me about the first time you'd had a family get together, or a friends or something, and they had come to see, and they had not seen him in a long time, and the, their reactions were, tell him. Yeah, that was overwhelming. So <laughs> walked in and see. To me, it was like, Harry, what are, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you that okay? was the first thing. Are you okay? Oh, they thought you were sick. Right. Like, you, like you were like, okay, Harry doesn't have. Long yeah, I had to do the same now. thing for my mother too. I had to call my mother, and I was gonna go and visit. I said, Mom, it's been, you know, it's been a few months, but uh, I just want to let you know that um, I, I have made certain changes and I look certain ways, and 
so say after the phone we drove down to New York and ultimately when she saw me she was like wow my son and she felt proud and happy eventually and she was like oh how much did you lose she's like okay you know can you talk to your sister now <laughs> <laughs> and what does your son think about all this oh awesome awesome he's like uh what, the, the funny thing is like in you know, a his mother asked him he's like uh what does daddy eat salad <laughs> and uh, shrimp and chicken he's excited he's excited he, i mean he loves it he loves it so Sherry, let's get back to the, the Weight Watchers program in general. If our residents wanted to, I, at one point I know there was a um, resident who did have the Weight Watchers group here on campus for uh, residents, but uh, I believe that particular resident is no longer with us and I do not think it has started up again. But what if there was a resident who said, you know, I really would like to do this and mm -hmm. I can't, can get off campus because I know there's groups off campus. Right. What would you tell them? Well, I think if there is anybody that's interested please, to let me know, I can certainly bring that up to Dr. Craig to see if there's something that we can do on campus. Um, it certainly is a it certainly is a, a great program, and um, if there is a need, we'd like to try to try to facilitate that. Even if it meant that there would be a resident and employee group or only a resident group, it would probably also depend on how many people were interested because you do have to have a specific amount uh, for them to, to do it. But So do you think this is something that Green Spring will continue after this year? I mean, have you, is there an end date or? Uh, as far as I know, there's no end date. Um, not for me anyway, because it's part of my goals as being here that I need to have people in that Weight Watcher group. <laughs> so Harry can't get out because I have to chain <laughs> him. Um, but you know, uh, we want it to be sustainable. And I, th I think if, if more people feel comfortable, you know, sometimes it's hard at work, um, you know, to, to take that time for yourself. And that's why Harry and some other of the employees that have done so well, it's really important for their story to get out because other people, I, I can tell you the, the basic story that we had was there was a young lady on campus who needed to be on Weight Watchers and wanted to be on Weight Watchers but didn't join, but Harry did. And at the end of that year, we had another open enrollment and Harry walked down to her office and said, you got me in this, now you get in and now she's in. But it, but it just takes just a little bit, because it's, it's a highly personal topic. But once you realize we can break down the barriers and it's, it's not you know, um, scary to be in there, um, then I think it's really good. We certainly do have employees that can do it meeting. Their time frame is the biggest issue, trying to reach them at the time that they can come. So Harry, <clears throat> what, what would you say to anyone who's either thinking about joining Weight Watchers or thinking about losing weight? Um, it's doable. It's just um, it's something that you have to set your mind to it. And, uh, and um, it, it's a proven system. And um, it's all, even within the app itself, it, you know, if you're losing weight too fast, the app tells you, hey. Um, Wait, is that a bad thing? I didn't think that was a bad thing. No. It, can, it can be a bad right. thing, yes. yes. It, it tells you you're thing. losing too much weight. You need to ch check with your doctor to make sure that this is your current with your per you know, natural progression. Yeah, I think it's a win-win, definitely. It's something pretty exciting. It's doable. I'm proven. I'm the proof of it. You know, a year ago, I would never think that Harry would be would lose 67 pounds so you have to start somewhere if you're if and if you're interested definitely you make a, that life it's a it's a it's a life change it's not something so this you, is you gonna go to. on and on Correct. even after you're retired from green exactly. spring yes, and definitely. you're gonna like continue the lifestyle yeah. good so what is the one thing you miss <laughs> The one thing that I miss, I can't really... Well, that's the thing about, before he has to answer that question, that's the thing about Weight Watchers is you don't have to miss. You know, um, I'm a, my nasty habit is Pepsi, and it is, it is 16 points for that bottle. And if I crave that Pepsi, and I know that it's 16 points, I only have 30 a day, I can still have it. But I might want to have less so that I have more room for... The ice know, cream. 
No, I, that's no. not my thing. But anyway, <laughs> but you can you so so the thing that Harry cannot speak about, he can still have some. He just has to work that into his point schedule for the day. Oh, I know what it is, but we won't <laughs> call me later. I'll let you. <laughs> okay, so one thing you want to leave our residents with, Sherry. Uh, you know, I think su support any employee that you know that's going through it. We really are here trying to do the best we can to provide, you know, the residents with the best care possible. If you see an employee that seems to be struggling, an employee that tells you that they're in Weight Watchers, just support them to, to encourage them to take that time for themselves. Taking 30 minutes for themselves will give the residents a better care. And that's once a week. And and it's 30, yeah, it's 30 minutes once a week. It's, it's not a lot, but time is hard. Time, but they can always go, if you're in Weight Watchers rolled up with Greenspring, you can go to any Weight Watchers in the whole community every, anytime. And Harry, I know you've already gave us some motivation, but anything else you can add? None that I can really think. I mean, the only thing I can leave anyone with is it works. You know, it's about control, being in charge, and uh, making um, a commitment. And it's a, I say, it's a, it's a life change, and it's working. I'm the proof of it. And you look great. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, again, if you have any questions, I'm sure Harry or Sherry will be happy to share the information. And um, sometimes it's. My dad always would say, push yourself away from the table. <laughs> <clears throat>